Welcome back. If I seem a little more enthused than I normally am, which is saying a lot, it's because these South African under-21 hockey sides, both of them can officially call themselves the Champions of Africa, baby! <laughs> Woo! The South African woman took on our Southern African neighbours, Zimbabwe, in their final, running out 1-0 winners. And the men's team were up against Egypt and claimed a very entertaining and hard-fought 4-3 win as South Africa recorded their first double in almost 10 years. And we are joined this morning by two members of that very proud squad, Viwe Mbata and Damien Knott. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Breathe it in. Because I know there's very little time to breathe when you guys are training. It is so intense at this level. I think that ramp up from school to club to under 21 space must be massive. Egypt, you know, we think about African opposition and then you get Egypt. It feels like they've occupied a spot on their own. What did it take to win this final? And there were goals, which says to me that there was a lot of heart and a lot of fight. Vive, how are you feeling after that final? Put it in perspective for us. Um, feeling great, obviously, being able to win the finals. I feel actually African champions, but I felt like we had to stay calm, obviously, not think too far ahead and just get the job done. You didn't concede, I think only four goals throughout the entire tournament. Is that how this is won? The fortunes can change so quickly because of the pace of the game. How were you able to manage the system in the tournament? Is it a game by game thing? Do you come into a tournament like this saying, okay, this is what we have to maintain the basis point. What were the tactics coming into this? Because clearly they worked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hockey, it's all about how well you can defend. Yeah, the biggest thing is um, you need to score goals to win, but if you can keep a clean sheet, that zero next to your name on the scorecard, I mean, it does you a world of wonders. Uh, we, we did that really well in the tournament. Um, we let ourselves down a little bit in the final when we were 2 up and we let Egypt back into the game. I mean, as soon as they scored that first goal, they just had so, many, so much energy running through them. I mean, home crowd, always tough playing a final against a home crowd. Um, and I've heard, but, especially yeah. with them, yeah. There's something about this team, and the floodgates can open it, and it must have felt like that at a point, like, okay, this is actually... Because you've seen this play out so many times before. What happens in-game, in a match like that? Who were the leaders in the team who galvanised? Is there a moment? How did you guys pull this one out the bag? So we had um, our captain, Nathan Ansel, and vice-captain, Ayaka. Um, they did a, a wonderful job with the guys. They were so encouraging, always uplifting, and they just really did their job well, which helped the boys a lot, settle the nerves. I mean, we had a few youngsters, first-timers in the team, yeah. um, and you could tell they, they were a little bit nervous, but the seniors, the, the guys that had a bit more experience than them came together, helped everybody out, and, yeah, I think that's yeah. just team culture and us just binding as a team just really pulled everybody through. And it is a coming of age because we've been knocking on these doors for a while now and I think from the senior level down, we're starting to reap those rewards on both sides. How proud of the ladies are you as well? Because this would have lost a bit of luster if you hadn't done the double. This is great. Vibe, talk to me about that woman's performance. Man, actually, a big congratulations to the team, obviously, for winning, for winning their tournament too. I mean, win them, I mean, winning the tournament like that takes a lot of sacrifice and dedication. I mean, they did not make uh, their country or their team proud, but actually, actually aspiring like young hockey players, yeah. which is uh, was a good thing actually. Obviously, having a double. And I mean, I get a bird's eye view of your world. I know you're so close to the cold face that it's difficult to see the bigger picture. But I get to meet the next mm. incumbent star who has to see this happening. You can't tell someone to believe in something until yes, they've seen thanks. it. It's just the way that we work. So it's amazing that you've done this. Job ain't done yet. Got the world champs coming up. We've got, a, yeah. I would imagine, a nice trajectory now. Where's the mindset at? What's the focus now moving forward? Oh, so we have to take it one thing at a time. Um, we have men's IPT coming up. Then we have a so-called pre-season World Cup journey um, in Malaysia as well, where we play Sultan of Johor, where we were last year in October. Um, and that's a good build-up for us here going into yeah. the World Cup. I mean, obviously, we are a self-funded self team, so we have lots to do along the journey yeah. to get there. Um, but we've got some time so we can get ourselves organised. Hopefully we can get some people on board with us. That being said, we've got a few million watching right now and a lot of them are very much emotionally invested in your journey now because of what you've done. How can we help you guys? From a player's perspective, what do you guys need? Um, more funding, obviously. Money, money, money. Uh, that's the uh, most important thing, obviously, like Demo said, we 
about to have a World Cup soon in November in Malaysia, which is self-funded. It's quite a lot of money, and yeah. obviously, um, backgrounds are very different. Obviously, I don't want to put up on me, but where I come from is actually have to work harder, and obviously, the rains and making sure we get funding. But as a team, we actually have like a self-funding thing, and hopefully, whoever's watching can help. But uh, just more funding and actually helping the players out there. Look at them, they're so beautiful. How can you not want to put your money into this, guys? Come on, bro. They're achieving. They're an investment that's going to offer a massive return. If you want bang for your buck, I mean, this little segment's worth a few hundred grand alone. That's how good they are. So please, we'll keep those details up. If you want to connect directly with them, do that. But most importantly, show some love. They are the champions of Africa, my friends. Well done.